Hello everyone, in this class I'll explain all about the placement preparation while doing the engineering and what are the subject is important, where you focus more and uh, what tool, what are the subject you learn and uh, uh, all these I will going to explain in this class. So first thing I'll tell you that this is especially for the CSC background student as well as the other background student also switch to the switch to their field if they wants to enter in the IT field for them also this video is very very much important because in the engineering course there are it's a four year four year duration course it is but every sub every year is having two semester and every semester is five six subject so if you count total subject in that uh, engineering journey you are learning 42 subject almost 42 43 or 40 you can say that but out of that only five six subject is important if you more focus on this five six subject you will going to get a good job after the engineering so that I'm going to explain in this uh, in this uh, video, and uh, and mostly mostly the main engineering start from the second year. So those who are in the second year, they are very very lucky because I'm I have prepared this video for them only. Those who are in first year also, but first year student, they are they, they you do fun no problem because first year like a uh, twelfth class only the subject is like physics, chemistry, math that you have already learned that you are going to do in the first year but your main journey start from the second year and the subject I have mentioned here and that too important for the placement that too in the second year and third year only so guys those who are in the second year and third year for them do focus on this subject don't ignore especially data structure algorithm and advanced data structure do focus on these three subjects and these three subjects will help you to make your future. So data structure is you can say that these, these three subjects is the heart of the CSE, uh, in CSE, uh, CSE branch you can say that or you can also say that for the interview. So if you know these three things you can easily crack the interview of any company. Because every company wants data structure, algorithm, advanced data structure. Either the post is also different, not matter. Either you are going for the software developer, if you, either you are going for the software engineer, either you are going for the software developer, uh, SD, either you are going for the uh, front end developer. They will going to ask some question from this subject. So it's post is also not matter. They will ask this question from these three subjects because these are the very basic subject and the, the concept is also very basic so they will going to ask so if i'm going to uh, take the data structure then what are the data structures important for them so the, there are many data structure like stack q graph t all these data structure they, they were going to ask but for if you are going for the good package the tree and graph is more important so try to no, do try to practice more on tree and graph in algorithm i'll suggest you about the dynamic programming this is very much important there are so many algorithms also that you can remember uh, that you focus more that is also going to help you for for the interview next in that advanced data structure in advanced data structure i'll help i'll i'll suggest you that to go for the go for the b3 and b plus t and this is very very much important for the interview uh, most in mostly interviewer is going to ask question from the b3 and b plus t and what's the difference they will going to ask third one is that dbms and os this is not more important but also but also this will going to help you but uh, there is some job is related to this subject only and that is SQL. SQL developer there is also one post SQL developer. So if you know the DBMS there you learn the SQL language and that too also very much important. That too very much important. So do focus on DBMS also. Don't think that DBMS is not important. It's also important. That's why I mentioned. 
computer network is also uh, also important but uh, very less uh, question come from the computer network that's why i have not mentioned here but these are the subject but these are the subject you can say that if you are going for the interview this subject if you are going, if you prepared this five subject you can easily crack all these interview either 5 lakh of package or either 20 lakh of package or either 40 lakh of package all these company and all package post are focused on this subject only so do remember whenever you are in uh, whenever you are going for the engine uh, interview uh, just practice all these four subject before uh, before going for the interview okay next uh, i said that uh, for, i said that at least you have to uh, be expert in the one language so there are many lang many programming languages like java c c++ python there are so many languages but you just learn only one language i'm not telling you to uh, exp uh, be expert in all these languages just selected one language either java either c either c++ either python it's your wish just select one language and be expert in the single language and try to do all these data structures just now I say that stack, queue, tree, graph. So if you are going for the Java language, suppose you feel comfort, comfortable in the Java, then uh, you do implement all data structure in Java only. Do try to do it by yourself. And also you do implement the algorithm also in the Java language. Similar like that, if some people are comfortable with C, some of are comfortable with C++. So I'm just, I'll just suggest that those who, uh, I'll just suggest that a person uh, uh, select any one language and do try to solve all these data structure problem and algorithm problem, advanced data structure problem in that particular language that you are comfortable. Don't go for the other language. If you are comfortable with the Java, do it everything in the Java only. If you are sometimes you feel difficult to solving that problem, do research how to resolve, what are the problem you will facing that you have to learn. That will going to help you in the interview. Next thing is that in Java, if you are going to some basic question, the mostly if you are going for the service based company, the, this is based especially for the service based company. If you go for the interview for the service based company, they prefer Java and they will ask you that, ask some basic question. The very basic question that that's very much important. Now, first question, if you say that, sir, I'm comfortable with the Java because in engineering course, uh, all four languages there. And the topic I have mentioned here, these are the very basic and very basic questions so either 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 you are saying that you are comfortable with the c and python and all still they will going to ask some basics question from java also because uh, this is the core subject means uh, you can say that uh, in, uh, this is also your uh, uh, semester you will get that one subject java so they will ask you oops oops uh, they will ask you about oops all these five thing method class volume of age inheritance encapsulation that that they will going to ask uh, as well as there is a one uh, abstract class is there in the java abstract class versus interface what is abstract class what is interface they can ask you and also overloading overriding collections so they will some ask some question from the collection what is collection everything they will ask you what is the difference between collection and array that type of the question they will ask you this is very basic questions and if you are saying that i'm comfortable with the c they will mostly ask you question on the pointer and because this is in c language pointer is the main topic if you are if you if you have the command on the pointer then you can easily crack the job, uh, crack the interview. So pointer and string manipulation, structure versus union means what is a structure and union, how structure is working, how union is working, and some inbuilt function of the uh, C that's important. And uh, next is that C++. If you are going for the C++, the STL library is very much important. So everything is in STL. So in Java, you are learning the collection. 
uh, similar like that in C++ uh, is a steel library. And if you are going for the Python, so some of them are very interested in the Python because Python is easy and it's you you feel like Python is easy. Why so? Because Python is having so many library. The developer have developed their own library and they have added there and that you are going to use using because of that reason Python is easy because so many library you simply import it and you can use that. Right. So mostly people trying to prefer the Python because the same code, if you write it in the Java, you will write it in the 10, 10 12 line. But you in Python, you can uh, write it in the single line and that too list comprehension and dictionary comprehension. Sorry, it's a dictionary comprehension. This is dictionary comprehension using this uh, comprehension. Uh, you can write the five, six line of code in a single line. This will helping you to reduce the number of line of code. Right, and that NumPy series, these are nothing but a library, NumPy library, this is a pandas. They will going to ask some question from these things. So this, whatever the thing I have explained here, the subject is important and uh, uh, language, if you are going for the language C, C++, Python. So what are the thing is important? So everything I have explained here. So while going for the interview, do uh, revise once all these things you can easily crack any interview. That's all about this video. Thank you for watching my video. And those who likes the video, please do subscribe and comment it if you want in deep each and every to topic. If you comment, I'll prepare some other video on every topic. Thank you all.